so it has been a while. Uh, haven't really been writing much due to. Put this in neutral real quick. Um, so there should be a bolt there. Although well, there should be a stud and a nut like that. But there is not. So we got two of the four. That is no bueno. Uh, I saw them. I went off road. Uh, felt it kind of wobble when I was going back home. So, <clears throat> checked it, saw that. So, gonna take the rear wheel off. I uh, got replacement parts already. Um, I got the dampers, so I'll probably just take that whole thing off. Um, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, I believe this just drops out, so it should just be the axle comes off. Obviously, you loosen the sliders. Um, I was gonna replace those and get aftermarket ones, but rather just get this back running and everything. So. Uh, just gonna take the axle off, make sure I put that little spacer back in the right position, so that's gonna help recording this either way. Uh, take this off, chain is just gonna hang there. Um, gonna clean this up with some kerosene, so it's rained and uh, the bike is very, very dirty. So I'm gonna take it all said and done. Gonna take it to the car wash and just rinse it off real quick. Need to get a rear uh, tow clock bar. Just instead of doing the fender limiter and everything, I'm gonna just get a cage since I plan on teaching people, probably stunting eventually. But <clears throat> just gonna take the wheel off, get those studs out. Have four, I have two replacement studs and four bolts. Uh, hopefully, should be able to use a two bolt method to tighten them and loosen them. And then I have the dampers that go on the inside, just brand new ones, just in case. Might as well replace them, they're like eight, ten bucks or whatever. So, gonna do that real quick. Again, take the axle out pretty straightforward so uh, I'm gonna try to get this done pretty quickly since I decided to record during the daytime and uh, got ahead of schedule so take the wheel off and we shall go from there so I don't notice I always say so when I start off but we are here um, 19 14 millimeter on the bolt itself it's your axle bolt uh, spacers right there Wheel is off. Um, rotor, or not the rotor, the caliper just floats there. So when you bolt the, um, the axle bolt in, that goes through there. Make sure you keep everything so there's washer on that side, washer on this side with the bolt. Um, gonna clean that off, grease and everything like that. Brake pads are good. Those look pretty much new, honestly. So. A uh, chain I should probably replace pretty soon. I probably would have been smart to do it right now since I already did the front sprocket. And yeah, so we're just doing things step by step. This bike's really easy to work on. It's my first time working on the bike, like doing it myself. So um, <clears throat> it's pretty easy to do, pretty straightforward. As you can see, the uh, studs just look like they backed out. These two bolts were also loose. So. Um, take this off so there should be blue a washer on one of those sides I think it's in there yeah so make sure everything comes in and off as it's supposed to so uh, I'm gonna clean all this up some kerosene those are the dampers that I was talking about replacing so uh, as you can see my bike has about 8,000 miles on it um, these a lot of people will mix up and they'll put them like this that is definitely not the right way you can tell they don't really even want to fit that way um, they do go over the hump like that so um, and obviously the race side goes over that hump there so um, these are already out so might as well replace these with the new ones um, for these I'm gonna take those off pretty easy to redo the stud. I'm going to just use two nuts to tighten in everything with some red Loctite. I'm going to clean this whole thing up with kerosene, especially in there since it's already off. So, uh, pretty easy. These are studs. Some sell bolts, um, like aftermarket bolts online. Um, I'm not sure if those are going to work. I'd rather just do it OEM how it's designed, which is a stud with a nut combination. So, um, get the part number out <coughs> as you can see I have a runny or stuffy whatever you want to call it nose you take this glove off since I don't need it anymore but 
uh, there's no videos really on this. There's videos on doing the dampers, the actual sliders, and everything like that, but nothing really doing the actual studs itself. So figured, why not make one? So uh, this is the stud itself. Um, part number as such. So I got two studs to replace, four nuts. Um, they are the, I believe, locking nuts, like little castle nuts, it looks like. Have the little nylon on the inside, that way it doesn't back out, but it's still going to use Loctite on it. I'm going to use blue on those for the sprocket, red on the studs, because I really don't want those to come out. So, part number for that. <clears throat> and then this is the damper. It's exhaust gasket, because I lost where I put the old one. That's why the other exhaust hasn't been put on, which is right here. But, throw this bag inside. So, it's the dampers I'm going to replace. Just throw them in there, pretty straightforward. The nut for the sprocket on the rear, and then the uh, studs. Good time to check your wheel bearing for any play. Um, if that fails, that's going to be a, a very bad issue. So, make sure you want to check all that. I'm going to just clean all this up with some kerosene. Um, put the dampers back in. Um, and that should be it. For this, uh, I'll probably record just to show an example of how to do one of the studs. But um, I'm using the double nut method, that's what she said. But pretty much put the stud in, lock two nuts together on the stud and tighten it that way. Um, you can look at them up online, but I'll show it here as well. So I'm going to do that real quick. And hopefully this gets back on just as easy as it came off. Alrighty, so clean most of it up. Um, so took this out as you can see there's only one stud left that bolt came off with the stud but you can also see how much cleaner everything else is kerosene does a great job as a cleaning agent um personally i would just buy said i bought a gallon of it um just put in a little spray bottle you can use it as a chain cleaner probably the best chain cleaner you can use uh won't hurt any of the o-rings and stuff like that x-rings if you have other chains you want to use it on so um <clears throat> gonna clean the wheel rest of this um i'm gonna do the studs first just to put that one in so as you can see uh, the threads all look like they're good uh, i'm gonna use that one since this already has a bolt on it or a nut on the stud and make sure all these threads are good to go through and so if they are i will do that if not they do sell this complete hub assembly i believe it's this the bearing um and then all the studs are already on it, pre-assembled. I think it's like 60 bucks. Um, in hindsight, probably should have done that. But, um, I mean, each stud was like, I think $2. And the nuts were like a dollar each. So, I spent maybe 10 bucks doing all this. The dampers, I think, were 10 bucks. So, 20 bucks total with a little bit of time. But, um, it does come with a new bearing. I'm pretty sure on the new one. So, it might have been beneficial to do that. But, like I said, it's not hard to do. It takes maybe five minutes to do. Um, so I'm going to put the stud in, make sure those are good, do the double nut to tighten all the rest of them, clean this all up, put it back on, and yeah. So, I say so too much, I was going to do my thing or something, but uh, as you can see, the uh, left side is a little bit longer than the right side. Uh, so the longer side goes inside of the hub itself. You can also match it um, where it should be seated for the height. So um, these all thread in pretty easily so this one's a little rougher so I'm gonna use the one that's already studded um, but I'm gonna put Loctite on this use red on these because you don't want these to come out at any point in time um, and then blue on the actual nuts itself so I'm gonna do that real quick I'm gonna see if I can try to get this off as you can see it does their specialty nuts it does have that little lock part up front or on top I should say so I'm going to use red Loctite. I should be able to get these down and seated pretty well. And then um, I'm still going to do the double nut method just to tighten it all the way. Pretty much you just put two of the nuts on top. may not be able to do these because they're specialty ones, but it should work flipping them upside down. Uh, tighten it and then it should seat all the way. Uh, Loctite usually takes 24 hours to cure, so don't ride the bike too much. Um, don't ride it at all if possible. If you need to, I would recommend just doing this when you don't need to use it. So I'm going to put red light tight on here, let that sit, um, 
because I can start kind of curing in there. Clean up all this stuff with kerosene and then uh, put it back on, let it wait and cure. Uh, make sure you put everything back in the right order, all the washers and everything go in the right place. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You know, these are uh, 8 by, I think these are what? Let's say it on here. That's an M8, 18 millimeter is the length. 8 and I think it's a 125 thread pitch so if you want to get two nuts that are that pitch so you can do that to tie a net you can but it should be fine with just doing it this way red lock tight and using the lock nut so do that real quick so I really fucking do so all the time anyway um what I am doing mine the lunch with gloves but <clears throat> I did this one as you can see, so this is the one that's been, that stayed in there just fine. You can see kind of where the mounting surface is. It has a little bit of a gap there. Obviously that one I need to do. This one is all the way in. I use red Loctite, so that's where it's seated at. You can also see on the bottom, it should seat pretty much flush, if not a little bit out there. Um, if you guys should be able to see that can't really see the depth of it but it should seat as so this is the OEM one so it should seat about the same as that so I am confident that is good but all I had to do so threads should be clean enough that you can just finger screw them in um, I already put red Loctite on them so once you get down to about the base of the uh, stud, it should obviously get tighter because that's what the point of these are. So, um, you can see it's about there, so that's as much as I could do it just one hand. Um, but you need to get to about that portion, maybe have so like a millimeter and a half of clearance. So, all I did was just put this regular as if I was going to bolt it on. And since it does have that little lock function up top, when you screw it in, it'll kind of lock at that point. And then it screws down the stud even more. So you can see it's not moving from the top portion. It's kind of using itself as a lock nut. Um, you may be able to do this with the sprocket over it and just tighten from here. But what I'm doing is just tightening it and then I just quickly back off this nut once it's all the way seated so you can see now it's pretty much seated at the same area as these so I'll tighten it as much as I can and once the actual nut starts spinning on top let's see if I can do this one handed so these are 14 so once I see that the nut is spinning and not the stud um, I'll back it off. Let me pause it real quick. Well, that didn't work. So, uh, it notched on there. I did a good on this one. Um, so this is the lock nut is stuck on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just clean that up and then put the sprocket over it, um, and then bolt it down so that way it'll just tighten on the sprocket and then should seat in there. Once the red lock tight is cured, it should be able to come off on its own. So, but either way, it'll be tight. So. Uh, I'm going to clean that up, bolt it on, and then clean around it while it's sitting, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Reverse the process, so just put the wheel on. It's going to be hard to kind of do yourself, so just make sure you put the bowl and everything in at once. Try to line it up. Uh, if you have a friend, it would be a great time. If you don't have any friends like me, you can use a box. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that real quick. Everything is back together. Wheel is cleaner than the tire but I'll do all that later get the little spots and stuff but put it on uh, everything should be good to go um, obviously when you put it back make sure that the caliper is in that sliding pin um, tighten the axle it's super cold so I'm not trying to explain too much but pretty much just reverse the process all that's on tightened I'm just gonna park it let it sit for a couple days make sure I did everything right and uh, re-google and YouTube everything but yeah other than that should all be good to go I can start writing it again oh it's about to rain but I think it's dirty but probably do the exhaust probably get rear set um need to fix that because that's crooked but uh, other than that should
should run good. It's cold. Bike is good. So everything is good. All is good. Loctite everything. That's it. I'm done. Have a good day.